Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Autumn and I'm your favorite mermaid. I'm sorry it's been a few weeks since I've posted anything, but the reason for that is because I was stuck in my October slide. My October slide lasted uh, uh, about the month of October. I was able to get up and do some things. I was actually able to give out some candy during trick or treating, but afterwards, my body just needed some time to recuperate. And why? I have no clue. I barely did anything. Doesn't make any sense to me. But I kept getting bed rest. I kept making sure I was on a good sleep schedule. And I've also started cycling. And I feel like that has helped contribute to being able to get up and do stuff today. So I'm excited to share with you guys. I'm going to be doing quite a bit of things in my home during these cold months. And the reason why I'm choosing to do these during these cold months is because I noticed I'm able to function a lot better now that I've gotten over my October slide, the cold has settled in, I'm able to function a lot better in the cold. During the summertime, I struggled to be able to get up and do things. And I don't know if that's because of the heat or not. I do know that I do struggle with heat intolerance but I was trying to build that up there towards the end of the summer and slowly but surely I was getting to it but then hey the weather changed seasons changed whatever it's okay but I have noticed I do a lot better now that it's cold one of the things I'm going to be doing is redoing our living room you will hear me discuss later on all these big plans that I have but one of the main things is going to be redoing the outside of my house and doing the major living parts in our home. So I thought it was only fair you guys got to meet my family as we go along on this journey. You will be meeting my mom, my dad, my two sisters, and my husband. I'm sad you guys won't be able to meet my brother, his girlfriend, and their daughter but you guys hear me talk a lot about them so I just thought it'd only be fair I, I tell y'all ahead of time you won't be meeting my brother his girlfriend or their baby girl Rosalie it's okay maybe one day right also some people you won't be meeting but you will hear me mention a lot is my two cousins I have two cousins in Alabama their name is Gage the other one is Robert they are we are very close in age so we grew up kind of like siblings anytime we got together we always clung together we always grouped together band together and we actually all have this beautiful matching tattoo my cousin robert and i were the first ones to get it it says family and upside down it says loyalty then my cousin gage followed up and got his tattoo then my brother got it so it's actually something really important to us um, that's how close we are. So I'm sorry you guys won't be getting to meet them in this video, but I'm sure coming up shortly you guys will get to meet them as well. So come along with me guys. Come meet my family and welcome to the family. Come on. This is my mama, Maria, also known as Marie, Elma June, Elma Hunya, Poonjeb, Jebby, Nana, and best of all, Nana Bougie. These are all the many names we call my mom to keep her on her toes since she likes to keep us on ours. My mama is a one-of-a-kind Heinz 57, y'all. She's from Texas, right next to the border, and she is all kinds of Spanish, and we love to mess with her in English and in Spanish. She is beyond bougie and lives in the lap of luxury on a Dollar Tree budget. She is unique, she is one-of-a-kind, and you will not find another like my mama. This is my mom, Elma June, a.k.a. Nana Bougie. Where have you been? In my junior! Don't, I will not. If you don't call me from my name, no, you will not. Mira Elma! No. Elma Junia! Elma Junia Marel! No. Yeah. All of that changed legally. See, she said illegally. Legally, I have. Where's your broken foot boot? I'm going to tell Santa Claus. That's her pimp cane. Say hello to the world. Say hello. 
Hello and leave me alone. <laughs> Why are you cranky? You have your cigarettes. Because it's pain. <laughs> What's pain? My foot. Then why'd you break it? The dog. Jack stepped on the Don't foot. you blame my don't you blame the kids? Come here. Come here, boy. No, no, no. Don't call it don't. Don't move that foot. <laughs> <laughs> get your nana's boy, get that boy by mine. Okay, I'm ready. That Damn time. it. <laughs> Take my nana to go to sleep. I need me the hell alone. Good night. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> what? Why are we the assholes? Because you are. ¿Qué pasó, Elma? It hurts. What hurts? My damn foot broken four places. It's broken. <laughs> You're oh. supposed to use the cane with the other hand, with the cripple side. Nope. <laughs> You're supposed to be using your cane with your broken side. I ain't gonna do it. You're supposed to. I'm stubborn as hell and you know it. No shit. You better stop. Come on. Come on with your broke side. Uh-uh, other way. No, this no way. put it back the other way. No. Uh-uh. Stop it, Scrooge. That's what you look oh, like no. with your cane. You look like Scrooge. Ah, uh, humbug. It's bah humbug. Yeah, whatever. That's <laughs> what I said. I fractured it in four places. No shit. No shit. <laughs> Use it on the cripple side. You're supposed to. Ay, Elma. I know. What a hoot. This is my computer nerd loving retired Air Force dad, David. He was born in the Appalachian Mountain Woods of Alabama and retired the year I was born here in Central Georgia. I actually have a moonshine camp tattooed inside a mason jar on my thigh that represents his father, my papa. He was a bootlegged moonshiner outlaw, and I'm proud of those roots too. Dad would rather be behind the scenes on the computer than in front of a camera, so you won't hear too much from him. But I'm a daddy's girl, born and raised, through and through. And I'm not the only one that's a daddy's girl. He has two Winnie dogs, and both of them are females, and they are obsessed with my father. And so are his granddaughters. What can you say? I guess we're all David's girls. Now for my sisters. This is a friendly reminder that my parents adopted me. Biologically, they are my maternal grandparents. So my brother and my sisters came from my biological mother. My parents didn't adopt them, but did bring them in and raise them since they were seven and eight years old. This is my sister, Cynthia. She's the second youngest of my siblings. If you watched my first and fourth video, then you know they are more like my kids, and it shows a lot with this one. My husband likes to say she's just like me. She's my best friend and is always there for me. When my pot started, she jumped into some of my roles to help the house stay functioning and has been a big help with taking care of me since all of this started. the baby of our family, Summer. Now you're probably wondering, did they name them after seasons on purpose? That answer is no fam. Me and my late stepdad, we were just always jamming to Summertime by Will Smith. <laughs> yes, that's really where we got the name Summer from. 
She has Asperger's, so she is on the spectrum, but has never let that stop her from anything she wants to do. She gives us all hope and is truly the sunshine of this house. She always has a big warm bear hug waiting on you with a warm smile to match. I mean, the love that she just gives everyone and she just makes everyone feel just better. There's something about a sunshine in the house and she is definitely ours. And finally, we're to my husband, Joshua, a.k.a. Josh. He's always been there for me and has always been my rock. But he hit plies level this year after I was diagnosed with POTS syndrome. We met our freshman year in high school and we have been together ever since. It's weird. It's like the tables have turned. In 2014, he was diagnosed with epilepsy. It was totally out of control until 2018 when Emery found out what type of epilepsy he has and put him on the right seizure medication. He got a job in 2019 and has been loving life ever since. Three years later, I get diagnosed with POTS syndrome and I now can't work and am some days disabled. He's loving me through it just like I loved him through his. And I'm so glad to have my high school sweetheart at my side through all of this. He comes off as a grumpy old man, but has a big heart for his tribe and a softer one for his nieces. He loves being Uncle Jay and Uncle Jay loves his girls. Don't ask me how I knew at 14 years old that he was the one. I just did. My heart was home. He's my rock. He's my everything. To see the truth around you From a distance you can tell That's my family. Now that you've met them, you're part of the family too. Just ask some of my best friends. My family sucked them in and they haven't been able to escape the shit show yet. You're probably wondering why my crazy behind is mopping the walls. Well, get excited because we're beginning to spread Christmas cheer. Actually, my tree won't be here until the 28th and I just want to decorate and get everyone in the Christmas spirit. So to decorate correctly, We've got to clean up these dusty and dingy walls.
it look good? Look at that. Do you like it? Oh, I love it. I knew you would. Wait till you see the ornaments hanging from it. I'm so excited guys, we finished our hallway. Are you ready to see how extra I'm going to be this season? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the five and ten It's glistening once again With candy canes and silver lanes that glow it's beginning to look a lot like this. Alright guys, that's it for me today. I hope you loved getting to meet my family. This is it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I truly appreciate it. If you can, hit that like and subscribe. And if you feel like sharing, give it a share as well. I appreciate you all. I love you all. Love and spoons to all of my potsies out there. I'll see you next time. Bye.